What's up guys, my name is Ace, and ever since the Season 6 update where they pretty heavily nerfed the C4, a very common question that I've been getting asked is, what is the best lethal to use now, especially in Warzone? We'll talk a little bit about multiplayer, but this is going to be mainly geared toward Warzone, because that's where I feel C4 is the most popular. Now just a little recap for what they did to the C4, the first thing they did is they significantly reduced the distance at which you're able to throw the C4. So you used to be able to whip it pretty far, now you just kind of lob it out there and it's kind of pathetic actually seeing just how lame the throw looks at this point. But on top of that, they also added a very slight delay if you use the quick detonate feature which requires you to double tap the reload button. If you do that, then the C4 just blows up without you having to pull out any sort of detonator or anything. And that's a feature that's been around in Call of Duty since C4 has been around in Call of Duty, I think. Or at least for many, many years, it has been around. And now, in order to balance that out, like I said, there is a slight delay. You'll hear a little bit of a beep before it actually detonates. And it's about a half second delay. And when it comes to my thoughts on this, my initial impressions were, I think it's actually quite balanced what they did, and I was okay with what they did to the C4, even as somebody that uses C4 a lot throughout the game. I do feel like it was just kind of the obvious choice in both multiplayer as well as Warzone. The only exception was really Ground War, where I feel like Thermites tend to be a bit better because they take out tanks a lot better in Ground War. But now that I've had some more playtime with it, I've got to say, I do think they went a bit overboard on the throwing distance nerf. I like the slight delay with the double tapping reload. I think that helps keep the C4 a bit more in check than it was before. But the current throwing distance, like I said, it's kind of just pathetic seeing you try and throw that. It's hard to even throw a C4 into a second story window of a small house in Warzone, for instance. And that I don't really agree with. I don't think it should be that bad. I think that should be something that you can still do with relative ease. But that's kind of beside the point of this video. The point of this video is what is the new best lethal to use? And let's start it off with Warzone. I'll tell you guys right up front, it's still the C4 in my opinion. Now, there is definitely something to be said for the Molotov now. I think the Molotov comes in at a much closer second for Warzone because Molotovs are great for forcing somebody out of cover and forcing them away from an area for a short period of time. And this is especially great if you're in an environment where they just have a rock or a tree for cover. If you throw that Molotov properly, they have to move out of that cover no matter what. They can't just stand in the fire and soak up the damage. Whereas with many of the other lethal pieces of equipment, especially if they have EOD, they can just kind of take it and then heal up and armor up after that while staying in cover. The Molotov doesn't allow them to do that. So like I said, I would say the Molotov is definitely a much closer second, but it is still in second place in my opinion. And the primary reason for this is quite simply nothing else compares to the C4 when it comes to destroying vehicles in Warzone. And having the ability to destroy those vehicles is very, very important and often makes a difference between life and death. When you look at any of the other pieces of equipment, they just don't work that well for taking out vehicles, or at least taking them out before they run you over. So like a Semtex, for instance, it's not bad for taking out a vehicle, but by the time it actually explodes, you're dead. It's already too late. Whereas with a C4, you can get it out there fairly quickly, and then as soon as the vehicle gets within the radius, it's an instant kill on those players, unless they're in a cargo truck, but even then, you do a lot of damage to a cargo truck, and they're much easier to dodge now. Additionally, when dealing with vehicles, the throwing distance nerf, it doesn't matter quite as much as other situations where you're trying to throw it up into a window, for instance, because that vehicle is most likely going to be trying to run you over, so they're going to be coming within your radius anyway, so the throwing distance nerf doesn't really hurt it much in this area. It's mainly just that little bit of a delay on the quick detonate feature, but that's something you can account for. That's something you can just try and better prepare yourself for, because you can see the vehicle coming from a distance normally, so you just have to give yourself that little bit of extra time. So yeah, when it comes to Warzone at least, I would say the C4 is still typically going to be your best bet as an all-around piece of lethal equipment, with the Molotov coming in at a close second. Now, as for multiplayer, things happen a lot faster in multiplayer, it seems like, and you don't have as much time to react to things because you don't have armor on, and therefore, I feel like the nerfs hit the C4 much harder in multiplayer than in Warzone. And personally, I started leaning more toward Thermites, Semtexes, as well as Molotovs. I feel like all three of those are great choices. You can throw them fairly quickly, just get them out of your hands, get yourself back in the fight, and that's really important to me. That's why I don't tend to use frag grenades all that often. I feel like it just takes my gun down for too long, and I'd rather keep my gun up shooting people, especially with how fast the time to kill is. 
So yeah, lately in multiplayer, I've been leaning much more toward those three, and I don't really use C4 that much anymore when I play multiplayer because the nerfs did hit it pretty hard. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's really quick video. Just wanted to answer that question for all of those people that have been asking. Of course, though, these are all just my opinions as well. I would like to know in the comments section below, what do you guys think is the best lethal to use in Season 6 after that C4 nerf? And also be sure to mention if you're talking about Warzone and or multiplayer when you're talking about that. But yeah, do you agree with me? Do you think the C4 is still perfectly viable within Warzone, especially for taking out vehicles? Or have you started switching to a different lethal? Just let me know all of those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.